Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about setter in Dart. Setter is used to set the value of property. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo of setter. Okay, here you can see setter is used to set the value of property. It is mostly used to update the private property's value. Okay, here you can see the syntax for setter. First of all, you need to write set keyword and you need to write a property name. Then you can write a value. Uh, inside this parenthesis and you can uh, write the setter body in this curly bracket instead of writing this curly bracket you can also use uh, this arrow function okay okay let's uh, do the example of setter okay okay now let me create a new file i'll say copy dot that okay okay here let me create a class copy okay and i will create two private properties one is name of copy and one of another one is price of copy okay okay now let me create constructor okay uh, if i don't create constructor then this will be okay no problem okay now i will create a setters okay okay here is some problem i need to write question mark you will learn learn about this question mark in our null safety section okay now let me create a setter first i need to write set and i'll say name and i will pass the string name okay you can also write anything here and i'll just say n and i'll say this dot underscore name is equal to this n okay okay this is setter for name and i'll say set price and i'll say double p and this dot underscore price is equal to p okay okay in this way you can use setter okay i'll also create method one method which is display which is used to display the result copy name is dollar this dot underscore name and copy price is dollar this dot underscore price okay okay now let me go to our main dot dot file and let me create a object of copy okay copy c is equal to copy okay okay i'll set c dot name equal to this is possible because of setter c dot name is equal to array copy and i'll set c dot price is equal to 250 okay i cannot print the value i cannot print the c dot name okay because it, if you want to print then you need to define a getter for it okay but we have one method called display which can display the value of this name and price of copy okay here you can see copy name is array copy and copy price is 250 if you want to print the value of name then this is not possible okay if i print c dot name this is not possible you need to create a getter for this okay because getter is used to get the value we have only created setter okay if i go to copy and i'll also create getter okay one getter is get i'll say data type first string get and name and this will return this dot underscore name okay this dot underscore name and also i need to write exclamation 
and I'll say double get price and I'll say this dot underscore price okay okay now this is possible here you can see you can also get the value as well as set the value okay okay now what is the advantage of this setter okay advantage of this setter is okay if you want to set the price to zero if the price is in negative then you can also do that okay i'll say if p is less than or equal to zero okay then i will say this dot underscore price this dot underscore price equal to zero okay and else you can say this dot underscore price equal to p okay you can write your own custom logic here okay now if i run this file here you can see copy price is 250 got printed if i uh, set the value to minus 10 then it can say the copy price is zero or you can also throw the exception okay to throw the exception just throw exception you can write your own exception here price is negative okay now if i run this program here you can see price is negative got printed in this way you can also use your own exception you can throw the exception okay okay here you can see various examples of setter you can practice this example and here you can see why setter is important it is used to set the value of private property and it is also used for data validation you can validate the data and it gives you better control over data and here is one uh, challenge for you the challenge is try to create a class university okay with two private properties name and year class will have two setters that is name and year to update the value of the properties the year setter will only accept the value between 1900 to 2023 also create a method display to display the value of properties this is your task i hope you can do this task very very easily if you have any question then comment down below thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end i will see you in the next video thank you